Along those lines, when I when I look at your website and when others might, uh, the list of banned substances is extremely long. And for somebody like me, I don't really know what most of them are. I recognize that it's the responsibility of coaches and athletes to know what they are. But is there a connection between just how many banned substances there are and fairness? Are they all sort of equally important? Or are we at a point where athletes' lives are very difficult, coaches' lives are very difficult, and even with the best intentions, and even with the best equipment, it might be difficult to, to comply? It's a very good question. And, and I think that the response to that is, is, is full of nuances. You've got to start, first of all, I think, to, by making a big, important distinction. You have the elite sport. You know, you talk about going to the Olympics. That's the top of the sport. For the elite sport, I would say the athletes are part of a system at that level, which is basically organized by the sports, by the International Sports Federation. And it's not anymore each government who has to have a system. The, the sports organize it worldwide in an harmonized fashion. And at that level, I would say they get medical care and so on. So they are a little bit outside of the constraint that you may have in, a, in the less privileged country versus a more privileged country, because they're part of this international system. This being said, there's still differences. We have to accept that. But when you get to that level, you're very high. Now, if you take away the Olympics and you talk about sports as an all it represents for the youth, then you have huge differences from, from one country to another. And as you say, the list is complex. The anti-doping system is complex. If you don't have the appropriate education, if the parents don't have the education, if the coaches don't have the it, it could be very hard for, for, for athletes to find their way through that. Now, the answer to that is not so much to deal with the list because the list of substances is, is done from a scientific perspective, if you want. And, and I think it's a, a consensus among scientists that these substances actually could improve performance or, you know, have, have a, could be bad for the health and so on. But what needs to be done and what we've tried to do is to have a little bit of flexibility in the system. Therefore, while you may be taking a banned substance, there are circumstances that could be taken into account in how this will reflect on you in terms of punishment, in terms of ban, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there are some, not too much, because you have to keep harmonization. So the, dif the difficulty is always the balance between having a harmonized system so that Everybody is be treating equally, but also taking into account that there are differences in terms of education, knowledge, and so on, so that you can bring some of these elements when there is a case. But it's, it's not easy. Add to that, I would say, for us, really, one of the goals is to try to avoid cases. To avoid having to make these judgment yeah, calls. Exactly. And, and the repression part, you know, these, these cases that we often make the headlines of the newspaper... This is, to me, the short term. This is, we are policing the society like police does. You know. But the long-term goal is education. And, and education is what will make the difference in, in those regions that are maybe less privileged. Where it, That's where the effort needs to be put. Because we realize, you know, when we go to international sports events at lower level than the games, where you bring athletes from... I would say one or two level below the top elite. But then you realize how difficult it is for those athletes if they are confronted with, and with doping by, by a coach, for example, suggesting to them to take the blue pills or the red pills or whatever. You know, They don't have the knowledge and they don't have the tools to say no or to make their own decision or to make the right decision. And to us, that, frankly, for the future is the key, is to try to instill the right values as early as possible in society. And, and it's a huge job. Uh, it's a huge job. It's a long-term job. So there's...